Oh, blessings to everyone. This is Sadhguru Maharaji, the living perfect master of this age. Yes, the reveal of light and the dispel of darkness. Yes, I'm here to talk with you about this life and all the grace that has taught you. Yes, to be here today and this hour, yes, that I am seizing the opportunity to explain certain things about the creation to you. First, you must appreciate and thank the Creator, yes, for keeping you alive up to now. I know in Nigeria here, it's about quarter after three. Maybe in Europe, yeah, the time differ according to the region. In America, it could be around nine o'clock or eight. What about Brazil? What about China? South Korea, North Korea, Vietnam, Cambodia, Japan. Yes, we have all time differences. But there's one thing that connects us all together. That is life. It is this life that we have tried to ignore. Yes, we've tried to indoctrinate people with so many ideas, concepts about the creation. You know, one of which is what the opium of the masses represents. All kind of dogma philosophy, all kind of, you know, diversionary activities going on that does not or do not correspond with the social practice. Because at the end of the day, we find out all that has been said there has nothing to do with life. It deals with eating, drinking, moving and jabbing, getting married, producing children, yes, and then at the end of the day, all the efforts, all the struggles by the parents, is, is gone. Well, here he is lying down there. The houses cannot save him. The lands cannot save him. The money in the bank cannot save him. Oh yes, he's gone. Where? Nobody knows, because truly if there's somebody up there, it will empower them to come down to say, okay, this is what is happening to me up there. And so today we want to bring the gap, very necessary. Not bridging the gap, not making people know the reality on the ground, the truth, the way out, the answer, the solution to our problems is what is threatening the globe now. The Arab Spring that died a few years ago had just started. You can see what is going on in Sudan. Yes, after so many years of trying to hold al-Bashir for treating the blacks in southern Sudan as scaffries or animals. Yes, today they are paying for the karma. Today, Sudan is almost divided. Yes, killing here and there. The uh, just temporary truce is not something you can rely upon because they are deceiving themselves like many other countries are doing today, particularly the Caucasian area, the whites. They seem to be unshakable. They seem to claim that they are the authors, the owners, you know, and yet they are perpetuating misery, pain, agony in the lives of people, but not going to the real thing. And the real thing is what even they themselves said, that man must seek the kingdom of heaven first. Yeah. Where is the kingdom of heaven? Is it up there or down here? 
Except there were seven of there. Adam would not come. Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, Lao Tzu, Guru Nanak, Mahatma Gandhi, and many others. Those social, economic, and political leaders who have really changed the world, so to speak, into a modern world where you can see skyscrapers, you can see beautiful roads, eight lanes, you carry your phone, one, you can talk to America, and you can see the person you are talking to. Yes, yeah, supposedly people have gone to the moon. Yeah, but they have not taken a step into human heart. The crux on the matter. They say, masters come, masters go. Soldiers come, soldiers go. Teachers come, teachers go. But there's one very important teacher that we always will miss, the world teacher. That person who has the capacitor, who is the capacitor itself? Who has the capacity to transform man? Yes, to reveal the light. To reveal the true name of the creature within man, beyond God, Allah, Tetegramato, Yahweh, Elohim, that today has turned the whole world into a heaven of war, discontent. You see fake pastors, fake reverends, bishops. They try instead of telling the truth to the adherents. They still come to promise our oh, Jesus is coming again. Prophet Muhammad is not coming. Uh, Judah is coming back. Uh, Elohim is coming back. Ananias is coming back. Uh, what? Elijah is coming back. Yes. And there's nobody to question because we have all accepted whatever is going. Yes, and so you see the industry. They talk about God has become an industry. Where you see pastors raking in millions, billions from innocent ad adherents. Adherents is know that uh, this is the word of God, so you have to pay tight 10% or 20% or 50%. And some have been doing so right from 100 years ago. They have not seen the light of it. They have not seen Jesus. They have not seen Prophet Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna. Oh yes, those that have the three qualities of man. The generator, operator, the director, or in my colleague. Omnipotent, omniscient, and omniscient. Omnipotent, like the air. Omniscient, like the sun. Omniscient, like water. Like fire. Why are they not seen? This is where I've come in now. Yeah, for you to know that I am not one of those pastors, reverends, those gurus in accountancy, business. No, I'm the guru of the spirit, of light. I must come to let you know that I'm the one dwelling inside you. Nobody up there, I'm the one here. That's why they call me the Sat Guru Maharaj. Are you surprised in this body? That's how it should be. The stories are over. The reality is here. The propoundment of the propounding of the message of love that has been going on always leaves one percent needed to make it 100. And it's always when a little master comes. Now I'm here. Since 1980, 80, 90, 10, year 2020, 2010, 30, 2020, 40, plus three years. Telling you that, hey, he created us through original name. Before England, English were created. Before the whole Europe was created. Before China, Australia, Antarctica, Russia, Canada, 
Because South Africa was created in Smaragi. Yeah. And so today we are here to let you know that the special grace of the Almighty is on you. You don't need to worry much anymore. All you have to do is talk to him to prove the omnipotency of the Creator. Omnipresence of the Creator. Somebody that you call, he'll be there. Late Michael Jackson sang a song. When you call me and I'll be there. He was talking about marriage. This one you are seeing here. So I'm here to create an enabling situation so that you don't have to be going on strike because you're a worker, the government has not paid you. Because you're a doctor, the government has not paid you. Because you're an engineer. Yes, in that robotic area, you are bound to strike because you have still up to now not been able to talk to the Creator to know how a seed of mango can produce millions of fruits. And that seed is within you. That power, that Creator within you, that Maharaj. And so without knowledge, you are bound to go on strike because you are a paper tiger. You are a robot programmed by the colonial masters to serve their interest. For you to what, learn to buy a car, it might take you 20, 30 years. To buy a bicycle, maybe two years. To buy a new blink could be all your life. But they manufacture them. You have been to the university, you have been to the college, you have been to the high schools. We never saw the secret for in these inventions. Yeah. The secret is the power of the Creator within you. And that is what I am here to talk about that will lead us into knowing, understanding that, yes, with the Creator, nothing impossible. We start with the Far East. You see the war in Cambodia, the war in Vietnam, yes, Ko Chi Minh and Co, where the President of America issued and all that, and here they were. They fought and fought and fought the of the day. They run away. What about the Japan? Yes, there has been internal war going on. And this has taken a toll on the people. What about the Chinese? Yes, with the highest number of people. Population is the highest. They too, they have been fighting, but now they are practicing what we call communism to make sure there's control. The sudden appearance of COVID-19 in China actually brought the whole country down to a level where, like other colonial countries, they were running up and down to tell you that, look, a human being is a human being. Yeah, he can make mistakes. But then, if one is able to correct himself on time, he saves nine. Yeah. Now you go to Australia, see, the Aborigines are there, they're having Wahala with them, fight. They want to what? Send them away. They don't give them the right. You go to Brazil, the same thing. The blacks who have gradually metaphors into light-skinned people now, they don't allow people like Pele them to come into power. And then they settle them with sporting activities instead of being in the mainstream of what? Economic, political, and social activities. So you find out that here, there's a kind of inequity there's inequality. You know, justice has become more or less like a what? Elusive thing. Because one, they have the untouchables and we have the touchables. We have the believers and non-believers. 
But we have come to discover that now, since my emergence, since 1980, the global situation is changing now to what we call a, a better understanding of the planet. Yes, that we are shaping the minds of everybody to know that we are here not because we want to be here. It is the Creator that wants us to be here. And the only lesson we have come to learn is to live in love, peace and harmony. How do I live in peace? How do I live in harmony? When I, I have nothing to show, like the bee, like the sun, like the air, like the stars, like fire, like even Mother Earth. It's just because you have not be able to meet the father of all creation, Sadhguru Maharaj. Whoever told you that Jesus is coming again is a lie. Prophet Muhammad is coming again is a lie. Malcolm X coming again is a lie. Yeah. Tetragrammatron is a lie. Or God will become is a lie. It's the Sadhguru who comes. Time and time again, but because it's what? In the melanin. They go in the black hole. That's why there's this opposition with concepts. Concept misleading people to, you know, hardships, hatred, hunger, all kind of diseases. Because without this connecting yourself with the inner man, the Maharaja inside. To reveal to you how this life works, where you're going to be, what you were in the past. You'll not be able to know your ways. You'll be beaten about the bush. Oh yes, because you're going to face scarcity. Un unemployment. Yeah, and when you are uh, uh, you're unemployed, you're bound to go into what? Uh, or take some kind of actions that will be inimical to your health. That's why we have people being used as pawns, bandits, dogs, political agents. You see people go to the polling area and what they snatch the, 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 uh, the box, voters' box, they snatch it and they run away with it and they are ready to die, man. They are ready to kill. And so today, if we come back near home, Africa and Europe, see what is happening in Europe. They are not coming out with the truth. And the truth is that man must see God alive. Yes. And when you want to see God alive, you have to go beyond God. Because God, in a way, has not been able to satisfy the whims and caprices of this world. Nay. The peace that we want has not been able to do it. There's bantry tree killings here and there. So you have to go beyond uh, Prophet Muhammad. You have to go beyond. And when you go beyond uh, God, they mean go beyond Christianity, the concepts. Islam, go beyond the Quran and the concepts. They are all more or less like what? Signboards showing that this is the way to the Creator. But who is going to show the way? It cannot, it cannot be a human being. It must be somebody who is spiritually capable of manifesting in every society, every step, wherever you are. And today, this is what we have seen in the Sadhguru Maharaj now. And so he's better qualified to let you know that the troubles in the whole of Europe, oh, currency exchange, fluctuations, strikes, uh, political upheavals, uh, ethnic cleansing, um, whatever, what have you. It's nothing but knowing the Sadhguru Maharaj. Once you know Sadhguru, everything is over. No problems anymore. Anywhere, go freedom. Why? Because the scripture said, uh, Revelation 
21, 24. Say, I've come to make you immortal, to wipe away all your tears. I'm going to pay. Yeah. Because in this body, there's something that owns this body, the Creator. That thing that makes the bed to fly is not what? Corn. Yes. It's not what? Rice. But guinea corn. They eat it. The vibration is there. The Creator has made it possible. We are not the one who identified it. They know it. Yes. And so we are here now. The whole of Europe is in political turmoil. The Middle East is safe. You can see the un uncalled incubus between Israel and Iran, claiming that Israel is gradually eliminating their super men in the what scientific area who have been mandated to take care of their new what atomic agency. We have been expecting them for long. And I just pick one statement from one foreign minister of Britain some years back. Just like what is happening between Palestine and the Israelites. He says once there's silence from the Palestinian area, Israel will not attack them. Yeah, the same way. Chevy, India has atomic energy. Is they threaten them? No. Pakistan, nobody is threatening them. Oh yes. Why are they threatening Iran to join the nuclear club? It's because of what? Too much talk, 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 talk. I know empty barrel is one that makes noises. A barrel that is full of doesn't. But both are just on equal size of the threat we're having on the planet now. How do we come out? Everybody will say, say, oh, God will do it. We pray to God, we pray to Allah, and every year they go on excursions, they go on pilgrimage, they run around a certain tabernacle, or they pray, they do all sorts of things. Good. Has that changed? The polarity of the sea? No. Has that changed uh, scarcity? No. Mandatory? No. Bandits? No. Drug abuse? No. Compulsive sex? No. Robberies? Kidnapping? Just a few weeks ago, one very top senator from a West African country was jailed for what? Organ trafficking. Is in a position to talk to the chief of this town, or the king, or the Eze, or your uh, Oba, that look, this is what is happening to my daughter, my son. He needs a kidney transplant. Somebody can help. I'm ready. I have about 10 million down. Yeah. Look, they will discuss it, and somebody will offer. But instead, because they lack knowledge. They are not in knowledge. So he has to use all these guru guru ways. And actually brought the brother to Europe. And when he was confronted by the doctor in charge, the man, do you know what you are here for? You are here for us to take your what? Some parts of your body to help a pain. You say, hey, mba. No. Ah, no, 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 they didn't tell me this. You can see that. See, power corrupts power. Absolutely. They totally take law into their hands. What about rituals? Money rituals. You see dismembered bodies here and there. And so. How do we get out of this? It's a question of what we are saying. That if truly and sincerely, 
the people in Jerusalem now and the Palestinians still don't believe in Jesus the Christ. That he, he was part of them. If the people in Asia are not able to see that what Buddha, Krishna, Ram, Zoroaster, and others are potential bodies of spirits that can reincarnate. You go to China, Chagmin, yes, many of them who did their very best to educate the people could have reincarnated or not. But how do we know it's through the divine knowledge? The knowledge of all knowledges that gives you power absolute, at least. Your life will be given 100% guaranteed protection on land, sea, and air. Yes, because once the knowledge is given, you are connected to the what? Universal grid, like electricity. Yeah, there are some people who are enjoying electricity from um, Kainji, free. Yeah, but there are some people who have to go and buy uh, generators. What if they don't have money to buy this? The same way today in a human being. That power inside us there, once it is reconnected between Maharaji in Sadhguru Maharaji now, that is where the, the scripture said, a bridge is built. Yes. And then the master will say, I am the bridge between man and the creator. But if you go deeper, you now find out, ah, who is this man? How did he know that? Ah, he's inside me. How is he? That is what made Jesus to say. Anybody who sees him has seen the Creator. Nobody sees the Creator except through him. Yeah, today, the TVs are misleading people to believe that, oh, Jesus has saved me. Oh, Jesus has saved me. So I can do anything I like. That in the condition I am now, some, they are good millionaires. But today they are penniless. Why? Because they still believe in that paper, divine power. Paper, when I say paper, a horse on paper cannot be. cannot take you a ride. Yeah. Even a plate of soup you see in the newspapers is not enough. Huh. So today we are saying Mahanji is here. Now look around you here in Nigeria. Yes, we have been having elections, elections, elections. People have been prophesying postulating, propagating, all kind of ideas. Forgetting that we were once a leader race in the world. Something happened that made us lose that right. It was not money, it was not food, it wasn't drinks. But it was this light that I have brought. And when you look deep inside, from what I've said, you say the Creator is the Lord that reveals the light. Yeah. Until that light is perceived, until that light is gotten, until that light is experienced, one will just be like any human being going to fetch water with a basket. And that has been the lot of those in Europe and America, where you'll be sitting down in your home, just reading, reading a magazine. All of your head to wake. You saw what happened in Turkey. 
where we lost one beautiful blessed soul, a football icon who has been a member of the world, European team. Hmm? What do we do? Ah, ah, here he is. He knelt down that morning. <clears throat> oh God, if he's a Muslim, he sit on the holy mat and say, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Creator of all, protect and guide me. I don't know my right, I don't know my left. We believe you are omnipotent. We believe you are omniscient. We believe that you are omniscient. But alas, that's what I'm saying today. The Europeans, when they removed Maraji from the scriptures in their Constantinople Conference of AD 21 and ratified in AD 60, their aim was to make sure that nobody is able to what? Get to the level they are. And so they presented books calling them holy. With Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, Ram, Elohim, Jah, Rastafari, and so on. And we have tried them today. There's trouble everywhere. And so when you look at the Nigerian situation, yes, where Sadhguru Maharaj has manifested. It's a special grace. And so today, not to take you far, come 1990, yes, I came out telling them, hey, hey, our cultural and traditional values are more nucleus and perfect than the dogma and philosophies we see in the scriptures. The reason being that they deal with metaphysics of life. The oracles and deities are the extension of the woman's spiritual power that Maharaj left behind. Yes. And so now, Maharaj is saying that those oracles and deities, they are still the male. They are still pure. They can be used because what they do is to effect justice. It's to make sure that there's law and order. They are to make sure that nobody is able to cheat his fellow brother and get away with it. So in other words, those oracles and deities, they were the checks and balances. As a matter of fact, they are like the brakes in a human car. So that anytime you are over speeding, you can slow down. Yes, today, if you follow the scriptures that have been brought, there's no brakes there. And so you don't know when death will come. And they have shamelessly, you know, concocted some idea that, oh, the Creator gives and takes. That is born to man to die. That man must die no matter what happens. Why should man die? When they say the wages of sin is dead. What are you I didn't commit? So you can see that in the absence of light, in the absence of divine knowledge. Yeah. We have tried and tried from 1914 to 1916 till what, 2023. Yes, we have evolved on so many, many what, types of government. And so today, Nigerians are asking me to give my views on the present situation. There's nothing I can say other than to beg the Nigerian police, the DSS, the House of Assemblies, State Office of Assembly in New York, and the National Assembly in Abuja, and the Senate, to please come to our rescue in New York, particularly my very good self. The Nigerian police 
are aiding some land grabbers to come and destabilize us. And we know that it's not just ordinary. Because I'm the one who's saying that Nigeria eh, is a holy. Why? Why? Because there's somebody who is asking you to call him anywhere you are and is answering. Like what Prophet uh, Muhammad played a different role. Uh, Jesus the Christ plays a different role. Not only that, I say they should not go on pilgrimage anymore. Yes, have so many years of going to pilgrimage has not changed the status of the black man. It has been worse, and that's why they are using them. I am told that there's one senator involved leading the part of the son that was given four billion to make sure that he destabilizes Maraji and Maraji's kingdom. Yes. And that's why I'm calling on you, the lawmakers. Buhari has tried, but not enough. Where? The spiritual backbone. The spiritual, what? Essence. That's holding Nigeria together. Go analyze it. Whatever is happening or has happened that broke, yeah, so many countries, and I say threatened, it's not up to 1% of what is going on in Nigeria here. And yet Nigeria is waxing stronger. I remember one from our United Nations Secretary General, His Excellency, Right Honorable Boutrous, Gali Boutrous. He said, among other things, that look, there are two nations you would like to settle with. His home country and one other nation. This nation, from the information before him, he is still surprised that the nation is still putting together. And what is the nation? He said, Nigeria. Wow. And yes, it is because of Maraji's person. That's why we have United Nations Deputy but, uh, Secretary General given to Nigeria, it's because of me. But what about the other aspects of our league? Yes, like in the area of football. We are not using Maraji, we will have won all the matches we, we encounter. In the area of science, we have not used Maraji. Only that the children who has pure heart, today they can go higher to receive from Maraji. The elders cannot because they have been involved in so many things and so their cup is full and they don't know how to empty the cup and it's true Maraji they can empty the cup true Maraji they can be able to experience that water of life true Maraji they'll be able to see that the bad life sustaining man and so here we are elections have been held and one of the contestants won is right horrible. Yes, Asiwaju, Chief Ahmed Bonatini. Yes, he beat other contestants flat down. In fact, if you go back into the uh, what do you call the proclamations they make, the interview, the discussions, and even their trajectory of their political career. Oh my goodness. You just carry everything and say, about Tinimbu, congratulations. Like this, no. About take, you've got it. Because here is a man who has changed Lagos into a mega state. Mega city. Everybody comes in there, eat and you nobody cares. Only don't break the law. Don't commit a crime. I've seen brothers, young men and women, you know, have a very wonderful time. You cannot be hungry in Lagos. I say you're a lazy person. You're a lazy person. And if you look back at his life, some are talking about oh, drug business. He has been cleared. 
Oh yeah, some are talking about uh, businesses, of course. In business, you must expect profit and loss. Especially a man with such active struggle to make sure that the colonization should not be on the lips, but must be practical. And so, every step of the way, the new colonies, the new colonialists in our midst, those who are looking for, you know, something to grab, something to eat, something to drink, without recourse to what actually made us sleep, they are going to be fighting. So, no wonder you saw what happened that gate, the Kui gate or whatever, in Lagos. Tinubu on his own cannot do it. Cannot say they should kill. He's not in power. Remember, there was this report by the wife, our dear sister, Pastor Oluremi Tinubu said, My husband has been denied entry to Asoro for the past three, four years. Look at that. And even he went further to say that, look, he has not been giving. Maybe he has not taken any contract from the federal level throughout this period. Oh, what a man. Of course, there are little things here and there. You heard about the Toronto saga. That, oh, yes, he did not go to any secondary school. You mean somebody employed as a financial accountant in the USA? We just get a job on the name of federal character. Look, you are joking. That is not what. American Zoo State of what? <laughs> of what? <laughs> no, can't be. All of them, they tried to say, I said everything. Elections came. He was able to beat them right now. Imagine a whole leader who was contesting for federal president saying that, ah, they should not vote for Igbo, they should not vote for your man. They should vote for because these people they are kafiris. They are not children of the creator. Imagine that one wants to be president. Hey, before a naked eyes, he's abusing the constitution of the party he belongs. To a point of uh, you know, alluding to himself, the power of you know, he can fire and sack anytime. In this Nigeria, over in Nigeria, you saw what happened even 1997, there. Oh, yes, 98, 99. There's nothing that didn't happen between him and his erstwhile uh, Oga, President of Asanjo. Oh, yes. She was able to what? Slander him down. Say all sorts of things. Yeah, politics. But the politics cannot go a European way. We, we are not just dropping here. We are not just traveling here. We are the nucleus race. We are the offspring of all human beings on earth. And definitely, if there's no enough to eat, to drink, to wear, to drive, there must be something wrong with us. We may have aid, and the first thing that comes to mind is what my forefather said, Udu Tobagba Glory Sume, Yogwemi, any river that disconnects from the source is going to dry up. And what is the source we have disconnected? It's Maraji, Maraji. And so today you can see that whatever the political leader who was saying they should not vote for Igbo and Yoruba means that he's disconnected from the source. Although he's a propagator of Islamic religion, he believed that, look, man is not qualified to see God. Man would die to go to Alijana. But where is Alijana? Where is him? Would he be on the right or left? This is just what we are saying. And this whole story about the creation is one. But the Europeans, they shared it to come and what invade Africa. 
And so you can see that the Papa failed. Then when you talk about the other contestants, from the papers we have read, that even as governor, he was not able to pay the 18,000 wages. And he didn't stop there. He has the labor men who come, came in, he was able to what? Give them some things. And then the, the local labor men were sent to Israel to go and worship there. Hallelujah. The money is there. And the workers are there, they are doing their jobs. It will uplift them, but because he lacks knowledge. They did not stop there. Yes, the announcement came up that during the full discussion, he was telling one papa, Reverend Wei Deku, that, ah, it's a religious war. We have to fight it. We have to fight it. Nigeria cannot fight religious war. When secret, the IBB enter into agreement with Nigeria as a member of the Islamic uh, conference, they all came out and we spoke. Even though, yes, the matter was dropped, but today we are seeing something else. And yes, it's not a record that Nigeria is contributing any kind of you know, money to that organization. If we are doing, we are yet to know. And that was the Papa. He did not stop there. How did he become the leader of the party? When even a month or so, he has not known which party to belong to. Hmm? How do we do? Eh, with such a man. And if you go beyond that, he is coming from an area that people are going on strike every Monday. Some say two days, some say three days. Imagine how much we are losing in the economy. I wish that he would, he would have been able to go there and say, hey, my people, look, oh, I want to go for presidency. And I want them to be real, to know that we belong and believe in one Nigeria. Equity, respect, law, and all that. So, hey, drop this uh, no work on Mondays. Now, the police station that has been closed for the past two years, let them reopen. Let them believe in one Nigeria. So that with this, we'll be able to put our case, prove our case. Hmm? Killings here and there, left and right. Hmm? What do we do? Where do we go? Now, such a person can be said to be a man who cannot feed a lady living with, with him. And here he is, he's receiving about 500,000. And the fare to work is just about 60 naira a day. He cannot take care of that. Now you say he should go and carry what? 36 wives extra. What will happen? Total collapse. What would you be? just imagine if you say it was the man that won? Then you are called Biafra back. Oh, yes. You will be bringing in Boko Haram again. This was again. All those rebel groups. And that is today the reason why I've told many who have been asking that no, the, the elections have been won. Nothing again. Swearing in is May 29, 2023, of the present elect. Um, His Right Honorable Chief Aswaju Alaji Ahmed Bolatini. The government must step in to make sure that there's no security on the ground. Yes, because we don't want to make any mistake. We want to prove the Europeans who are saying that we are not fit to manage our affairs, that there will be war in 2015 before elections. If not, there will be war during elections or after the election. I disgrace them and I told them, hey, be careful. During that period, we saw what was happening in America. 
because they pointed accusing fingers on us, but the rest finger was pointing at them. What is making this thing possible is because we have Sadhguru Maharaj. So there's a small recess here. We love the Nepa. And that's why we have come back. Like I was telling you. Hey, imagine if we had gone to an island, it's impossible. Nobody should dream about that. Yeah, say, oh, uh, you are talking now about um, after they have failed in that area, you are talking about uh, what? 25% uh, of the federal capital. No! Federal capital is not a state, it's part of what? Nigeria. Bola Tinubu, I like the Bola Tinubu, has won. They are there, they, are, they must not announce a uh, inaugurate. No, go and check out the Constitution. May 29, the president must hand over based on the elections as reported by the INEC. No, I'm not supporting anybody. And I'm not here for anything other than to tell you that, look, today, Ibo, Yoruba, Cheki, Hausa, Fulani, Ibibio, Cheki, we can live together. And we need a leader. Look, you come to Maranji village. You see Ibo, Yoruba, Hausa, everybody. Fulani, eating, drinking, Europeans. Yeah, because I am the object of devotion as well as the grace that has touched the whole world. Don't say it because I'm black. No, no, no. I'm not here. I believe that the black and white lives matter. And so today, I'm here to make sure that there's justice, there's liberty, there's equity, there's law and order, there's respect for the rule of law, with the power to express yourself. Just look at my trajectory in the last 40 years. Ah, I meant everything. Hey, look, today, Nigeria has introduced the still blower system. Only some of us, we are very lazy. All you have to do in your house, Maraji, please show me all the legal accounts. Give me two. I will come and show you. When you get, you get your 10%, you become a millionaire. What else do you want? EFCC is doing his job. Although there are arguments here and there that the brother is demanding money from uh, a governor. And the brother said, look, me, I am Bawa of uh, Moario. I didn't prove your case. And many others agreed. Uh, they say if you leave a glass out, you don't throw stones. Definitely in the area of corruption, I've always advocated that. Those who pleaded for play bargaining should be published. Yes, so that we know who is who in our society. Let us separate them. Let's not separate the stones from the rice. Uh, look, I'll be able to build a kingdom without borrowing a cobble from anywhere, without any support from World Council of Churches, the Islamic Conference, the Protestants, the Methodists, the Catholics. No. I'm teaching people to know that your wealth is within you. Like that thing that makes the, hon the bee to make honey. Is there. See, I fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy road and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me. It is not me raising the hand, it is that Maharaji inside. This is what we don't know. So today, ah, if we are to go and announce an article for anybody again, apart from Timu, ah, <laughs> there will be fight because they have seen them, that these people are going to continue with the braggadizio kind of way they were. It's like that, they, you know, kind of feeling, you know, that they were feeling before 2000, they knocked uh, uh, the other party down. So we have to believe they don't listen to them. There are some pastors chief for Nai Kenya, uh, uh, and I can, and I can eat, uh, Reverend Kuka, uh, mm. pressmen like Anya Gulu, 
um, what uh, show on the uh, channels TV, you know, some, you know, from Ray Power, some radio, this and that. I don't know what is happening, whether there's this kind of uh, asthmatic feeling of always never, never, ever trying to digest information before they talk. How can you say somebody whose kids and kin are propagating about, look, go and listen to the radio Biafra. In the air, we don't know where it is, what they are saying there. Threatening everybody. No, let me say it's not a threat. Nobody can fight a government. There was this elderly man who says uh, Nigerian Yorubas are political rascal. I replied him that look, you should not talk like that anymore. Yes, he should come up. How I wish I was an evil man. Yeah? I will just declare Peter will be don't go to court. Because Peter will be all Ambakal, um, what Atiku cannot fight the war from poverty. No, 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 no. We have seen them. They are, they are businessmen. They want to sell Nigeria. They want to turn Nigeria upside down. We voted for uh, Tinumbu because we don't want to be queuing up at the bus stops. We don't want people to enter our farms and take everything there. And if we talk, they kill us. We don't want the, the, God, the, the, the lecturers to go on strike anymore. There's no to pay them. We don't want to see all the alimajuries on the road anymore. We can settle that. Look, I give you just one year, two years. All this thing will come down. Ah, I was shocked that day when I read. The Sultan of Sokoto say, ah, the North is no longer safe. I'm like, Kai! Ubangi di Allah. I'm Kurifa. Ah, one year. I will settle that one. The incoming government, we beg them, they should do it very easy. The money is there. Build schools, creativity, moving everybody. By the time you are 10, 15, you know how to make a chair, you know how to roof a house, you know how to repair domestic apparatuses like uh, um, what, uh, pressing iron, uh, fuse and all that. You know how to do plumbing jobs, man. Give them a nice place to live, oh my goodness. Because when you are churning out high school students, graduates, University graduates, and there's no job. Ha! Ah. Hey, you have produced a line mine that will blow you up. And that is what we are seeing now. Just see what happened in Sudan. Because Bashir, Al Bashir, actually almost, uh, almost eliminated all the leaders in the Southern Sudan because they are what? Non-Muslim, non-believers. See what is happening. And this is not just new. The lot, they said the trouble will come from those belligerent nations who have been propounding philosophy of falsehood to deny the people the opportunity to look for their creator. What is religion? Religion is binding yourself with the creator in the absence of his personality. Yeah? So, what do we do? That's what we are saying here. We voted for Tinubu because we don't want any ghost flu on the road anymore. In Badon, Lagos, Espresso, you know how many years? Five presidents came, nobody touched it. Now, Wari, Baba Wari did it. When he shall second bridge, eh? Yeah. Nobody did that. Yes, there are dry dogs everywhere. 
Uh -huh. We have asked that the police commission should be disbanded. They are tribal. Yes, they are all involved in ethnic kind of behavior. Yes, pulling down marriage qualifications and experience. See the banking system, no, oh, it's all a ruse. Just see what uh, Nefrede did. Just to make sure that Aswaji Tinubu is knocked down. But the creator lost Nigeria. The creator lost Nigeria and he lost Buari. Yes, and Osibaji, uh, that look, your tenure will be remembered. Well, of course, security area. People have been saying, why is it that Benue area have been taken? Autumn makes some mistakes. I felt when he visited Oyo State, she would go for traditional powers, oracle powers. He didn't do that. Maybe he did, but he did not go deeper to know that, ah, what happened in Doka happened in there. When anybody who crosses the barrier, something will happen. Oh, yes. So, is that all? I mean, no, Nigeria is having the biggest refinery in Africa. It doesn't matter. Some people are saying it's owned by the top military brass. Okay, we have seen their money. Of course, Avacha has died. But Avacha is still paying us money from abroad. You see, you can see the good side of him. They are human beings. Can make mistakes. Only the perfect master doesn't make mistakes. Because his embodiment of that supreme kinetic energy. Giving and giving and giving. For people to rise up to the glory of mankind. To become one to be united. And so, hey. These so all these uh, journalists and uh, church leaders who have made one statement or the other. They should beg go because indirectly they have a prima facie case against them. You don't want to turn the constitution. No, the constitution has been strictly followed. We are one. I made a small record. We are one Nigeria. We are one Nigeria. Nobody can divide us at all at all. Yes, we are going to look into all this restructuring uh, demands. We are going to look into NEPA, billing people on estimation. It shouldn't be. I took them to court and I got judgment for it, for the whole federation. But look at what is happening. People are being bailed. Somebody has two points of light who doesn't even stay at home throughout the day. At the end of the month, they bid him 25,000, 100,000. If he doesn't do it, they will cut the line. And we need human faced people who are humane, people who are loving, people who are caring. And so, my recommendation is to make NEPA a public enterprise. Don't put it in the private hands. You see, some military leaders own these companies. We have to make a public enterprise. Like the way Airways was sold, the way uh, 1004 in Lagos Federal Secretary was sold, Ikoi Hotel was sold, all the ships we had about 10 before 2015, all of them gone. Yes, uh, yeah, by 2000, all of them gone. Yeah. What do you do? What do you say? Now the MTN has changed its code. How much they have reaped from us, we don't know. Oh yes, how? You know, the banking system is full of so many, many what? Uh, in in, in uh, inequities, if you might call it. The whole thing is upside down. Imagine Nigerian dollar. Uh, uh, Africa, American dollar is eight, eight hundred seven hundred and twenty. UK sterling is nine hundred and ten. And why? Because we are importing things that are not necessary 
out of our lives. We are told that the, the some politicians are in control. In fact, you were already mentioning the former vice president who contested for the presidential elections against the rule, the law, the fashion, the look. They not to go for presidency for eight years and they're followed by the South. And this has worked creditably well. They say it is now the one stopping there in customs. Oh, yes. How? Then when you go into the petrol industry, they say all oh, the bunkering in the South South now is done by Fulanese and Houses. How true? I mean, I don't believe it. So long as there's petrol enough to use in our cars, okay. And so long as within the ambit of the law. If not, why? They should be disciplined. How are you sure that there are no pipes from the South South to Europe under the sea? We are talking about this kind of people who introduce Bible and Quran to say, that, oh, that is the word of God, whereas the name the true name eh, is Maraji. Such people will never tell you the truth. And that is just what we see now. They were our brothers, but on truth. Made them change the skin to white. Uh, to represent the mind, why the black man represents the heart. And so what have I said this morning? Is to let you know that, hey, we are one Nigeria. Yes, let us come together. Let's be together. Hmm? It's a shame for we to lose a, a credit model. Yes, or the chairman of the integrity group. Just because of long truth, I don't care. I can do whatever I like. No, you can't do that. Look at President Wari. For the first five years, Sar Saraki was blocking him left and right. And I was wondering, ah, Baba Baka in Magana, eh? Ah, why did he talk now? Until when he left, Papa Lawan came on board, and you can see a lot of breakthrough. Nigeria has made gigantic progress in so many areas. A time will not allow me, but when I come back, I will tell you all that. But I want to appeal to the ordinary man on the street. Do allow these political leaders and the church leaders to mislead you. They have failed. They were to reveal the Creator to us. They couldn't. They are all running up and down. They are all just eating and drinking. They are just paper tigers. Don't listen to them. So don't follow them to go and cause trouble. Right now we should start celebrating the coming in of Atlantis child. Why? Because he can do wonders. Just go back. Among all the full and in the world, what is number one who has changed the name of Fulani from hatred to love? See what he has done. Ensure credible elections, eh? built a refinery in his time, received bill system, corruption, there's no way he will not support you. And there are so many other things on ground that he has done that we are using newspaper to try to turn it upside down. But Maraji will Niger, Maraji will not allow it to happen. So we are warning you, Mr. Newspaper Man, try to change your whole uh, write up, support the president elect. Don't create your own uh, election result. Yes, one of Zeko Men, who is a, a active uh, patriot, or um, should I call him uh, a member of the Human Rights Organization? He has now changed. He said, Oh, Abuja's uh, uh, votes should be counted, but Abuja votes, uh, blah, 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 blah. He has forgotten. The 29th May is the day that Tinumbu, Dr. Ami Aswaju Tinumbu will be sworn in. We won. We won last night. 
So please, please come, please. Holy Spirit, speak. Don't mislead us again. Otherwise, the ancestors will watch. Come out against all of you. Yes, that does not stop the state from calling everybody to a round table conference and ask them why we want to misrepresent what Nigerians wish. And their wish is what they have shown by voting the right honorable Ahmed Bola Tinubu as a president elect. Don't you know that you are hating equality? Why, in fact, one elderly uh, uh, patron, um, Professor Wale Soinka, he said they are trying to take us into fascism. And I thought that when it was alleged that uh, it will be visited him, we will have begged him for forgiveness and say, okay, look, that's not what I'm doing. You see, for you to be a leader, you must always come down. You must always, you know, realize that you are a father, you are a mother. You should not allow anything to create a situation where you, you undermine or you feel others as nothing. No, 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 no. Ah, with the wealth we have, I can give you just two, three, four years. There will be a change. Beautiful one. And we do hope to see a National Assembly that will challenge our policies. No. The mandatory is high up in the north because of this state of the uh, um, unequal distribution of wealth. Yes. What about the south here? In the east? Ah. Let's fight to big one. And so that's why we are begging that all the leaders should support Aswai Tinubu. Yes, and make sure that he's able to take care of all of you. I totally support his nomination of Akwabio. Even though Akwabio has his own little mistakes here and there during the struggle to be a governor, because I had deputies who helped in his uh, electoral success, but that do not withstand me is okay. I do not see a situation where the uh, Senate President will vote to the Southeast because of the, the, the bad situation there now. That spirit, you can see what even happened to Abia. Yes, the primary that were conducted was not proper. Anybody who says this will not affect the governor that was better is joking. Yeah. It has affected him. He should bow down in a gentleman way so that we don't have to delay, suspend, spend all kind of, you know, time wasting here and there. Come down. The DSS should come in. The police should come in. I don't care if, if the army comes in once they they have failed justice and tell the old boy you have failed, please step aside. Let somebody else. When they effect a new elections for the for Abia State and many others. Just let's go back where whether in Taraba or Nasarawa, a lady, a lady, you know, was declared winner. And it was alleged that the brother who made the announcement was given two billion. Yes, you can see it. It's all spiritual bankruptcy. Spiritual bankruptcy. I remember when I attended a meeting in the Lake of Salami Stadium. Fayose was giving a lecture. And was saying, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I look at him. I say this one. Okay, so he expect me to go and sit in the muka and be eating meat. I say, please, Omo, ah, meat creates clutterous. Meat, 
meat is always causing problem to man. When I look at him, I find out that no, he's a politician or an academic who has not researched into pre-independence Africa and post-independence Africa to know the reason why we are suffering. The suffering is just simply spiritual. To be politically, economically, scientifically sound, you need to use the holy name Maharaj. Yes, because that is the true original name of the Creator. It was the legal Constantinople conference by the European aristocrats in AD 21 and 60. Yes, that they removed it from the scriptures. And that was the beginning of our problems in life. So please and please, I'm not here to move you here or there. I'm saying right from your home, call me and I'll be there. For you to know that I'm not here to establish a new philosophy, concept, religion, but I am your father, as well as the father of the whites and blacks, who has come to redeem everybody, the weaker ones, the weary ones, the strong ones, even the wealthy ones. Yes, to make sure that they can, by controlling the vibration from us, create abundance. A lot, a lot, a lot of damage is being done through falsehood, through information war, through what lack of understanding of the proper history of the life of the world. And this is what I've come to restore. So I'll come to you again this afternoon. So blessings and blessings to everyone. Blessings and blessings to everyone. Blessings and blessings to everyone.